Open mic eagle. Rock and record it with closed sessions. Yeah. Back in my dumb bag. Uh, let me let me do. Let me try again. I don't necessarily catalog things overtly in pop culture. Whatever way my brain works in terms of connections of things, like I try to put that front and center. Like how my train of thought works. Let's say I'm headed towards politics, but like on my politics train of thought, I end up having a thought about the gremlins. I'm putting that in. Back on my cold shit, that old spit, that baggy or closed fit. But no happy faces, lasers and glow sticks, though. My bitch is sailing in gray. I visit aliens in so if you want to like, if you need anything dropped out or whatever, okay. it helps you write whatever you need. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool to write to this oh, and then you awesome. can freak it later. The whole spirit that I jumped on when I walked in here, like I was listening to the beat this morning trying to get an idea of what to do, but it wasn't until like literally like we got out of the car and like I was walking through the snow and we opened the door and I was like, oh right, like it just reminded me of the rap and I came up doing in Chicago and like the punchline -y shit, just like going for it. That's the part that was, that's fun. I've lost a little bit of a connection to that. And that style of songwriting seems more conducive actually to writing in the studio. Cause you're just like, this is just what I'm feeling right now. I keep telling myself I'm not coming back here in the winter. <laughs> I keep telling myself that and I keep ending up back here in the winter. It's really a cool universe joke. But um, this is like north side stuff, right? When I was growing up here, the city was very socially segregated. And, um, Really, I didn't know anybody on the North Side, and now like the same people who I who I knew that wouldn't go past Fullerton on the uh, red line now they all live up here. It's really strange. You moved to LA like 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. When you first moved, I think the narrative for Chicago hip hop was you have to leave yep. to make any kind of absolutely death, right. But I didn't leave expressly for that, like I left for like life reasons, but in the back of my head was like, oh, and when I'm out there, I'll try this rap shit too. But that certainly was how it was at the time, that like you had to leave. You had to go to LA, you had to go to New York, because there wasn't any right. business infrastructure here to make music happen at the time. Have you thought about moving back ever, or no? Occasionally, but then I came out here and it was, <laughs> it was, it was negative two degrees, and, and that's all the more reason to stay my ass in Los Angeles. Got this one figured out? Nope. You just hit him with some of that, uh, uh, psycho drama. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. Like two I mean, versus yeah, really like, that's honestly, like, not that voice, but that approach. That's exactly what I'm on. It was really cool working with Open Mike Eagle. I realized that kind of, we both had sort of an interest in, like, comedy and then also anime. So it was cool to connect on those fronts. Um, and I also liked, I like doing that, getting a little bit more personal, I think, with artists is, um, is good when you can kind of find a common ground. I don't feel like I'm in like intruding by like just kind of throwing whatever I'm creating at them. We can kind of like kind of meet in the middle in a way. But he came in already knowing what he wanted to rap to. So that took, a, I think, a lot of pressure off of me to like, feel like I need to sit there and make something from scratch, which I'm more than happy to do, but um, to have him come in prepared and ready to go, I like this beat, I want to write to it, and then we could all kind of like sit there and kind of get in the vibe with each other was was cool. I'm in my Dropbox and downloading the Comstock at high speed, so no need to brown nose a hop knob. I want to put that, that cadence with this other hook I got. Um, so. Cause I wrote this hook, I never used it, but it'll be perfect for this. Got good news, I got eyewitness. I drink whiskey and do push-ups. 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 
All right, I think we got a song. Yeah. My telephone is listening and tracking all my moves. I'm surrounded by my enemies and don't know what to do. I got good news. I got high witness. I drink whiskey and do push-ups. I drink whiskey and do push-ups. I drink whiskey and do push-ups. Oh, it's cold. It's my, I remember this cold shit. I know what a good rhyme is to me. I know what a good rap is to me. I know how to write that. I know how to do that. And there's a little space that I have to go for it in the moment, knowing that like this is it. You know what I mean? Because when I record at home, like I know, oh, this is a demo. And then I'm gonna listen to the demo, and I'm gonna redo this part, and I'm gonna rewrite this part. And I'm gonna, like not having any of that, I'm like, no. Like I'm gonna just fucking go for it right now. You know? My name is Open Mike Eagle. You have been invited into a closed session. This is what a closed session sounds like. You're privileged. <laughs> back in my dumb bag, don't scroll past. Got a double back, give it a double tap and a thumb drag, yeah. Back on my cold shit, that old spit, that bag of your clothes fit. But no happy faces, lasers, and glow sticks, though. So my vision salient gray. I visit aliens and aim at African Methodist Episcopalian. I, I'm in my Dropbox, downloading the Comstock at high speed. No need to brown nose or hobnob, nah. I'm an unlicensed architect, and Martian tech is hidden in the verses. So fiends search for the carpet specs. Damn! Catch me deep in my language bag. Reverse the earth spin fast so I can change the past. Black spectrum.